Well, you guys got a quick video on Microsoft shows off new concept start menus for Windows 11. Unfortunately, you won't be receiving any of these because these didn't make the grade, according to Microsoft. So they just started to mess around with loads of start menus, which goes to show us that they were actually working on the start menu, but they just never, ever released any of these. But which of these particular models would you have gone with if you had to choose? Or would you go with the one that they've actually selected to use in up and coming builds? I have made a video on the new uh, menu that they are thinking about implementing into Windows 11. But again, some of these are just some of the ideas that Microsoft were floating around and testing at the time to try and decide whether to uh, use any of these models. Now, some of them are pretty big. I mean, I showed one not long ago, which was absolutely massive. So I don't know what that creator was thinking about when he created it. So sometimes it's just keep it simple. People just want simplicity. They don't want an overly busy uh, you know, menu like this where you've got shortcuts, pinned uh, items, and you've got tabs down the side here. It just gets a little bit too busy for a lot of people. And this is where the big problem is with having a large start menu like this, especially in the middle of the screen. So let me know your thoughts and comments in the comment section down below what sort of menu would be suitable for you i just think start 11 start menu is a lot better than anything that microsoft have come up with and maybe someone needs to employ someone over at start 11 to make their start menu for them because i believe that's exactly what people want it's completely uh, customizable you can change the size of it whereas all these are just massive and who wants Copilot and all this other AI embedded in it? So this is Start 11's website. If you haven't seen it, I've done a couple of videos on this, on how to customize it and how to make it your own. And it really does work really well. So check out the link in the video description. This is not sponsored by Start 11 or Stardock. I just believe in that product and I use it on my own system because I believe that the Start menu is probably better than whatever Microsoft would come up with. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Also, what I like about this start menu is it's updated straight away. If there's any issues, they will release an update to fix that issue. And it's normally the issues that Microsoft have caused. And it's not that expensive. I think for the business version, it's $9.99. And I think for the home user, I think it's only $5.99 or something like that. But let me know in the comments whether you think any of these ones that Microsoft scrapped would have been better than what they've had already. And maybe they should have released something like this in the first place just to let people try it out for themselves. But apparently they have already released this to a few people to test, uh, maybe 300 people or something like that. But that's just not enough because there's billions of people using Windows all the time. So obviously... People have different opinions on different things. They also have a wallpaper section here where you can download wallpaper packs of all the wallpapers that Microsoft have created. And there's some really cool ones on there. But anyway, with that said, I think that's going to be about it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Big shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support and I'll catch you in the next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. The link is in the video description. Anyway, have a lovely weekend and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.